Hi everybody! Uh, it's been a little while since I uploaded a video and just thought I'd do a really quick one here. Um, I want to talk to you today about shading and in the art world we call it value when you're talking about something that goes from uh, dark to light or light to dark. Okay, um, but first I want to share with you I finished coloring the Naruto drawing okay remember that if you haven't seen this I've got three parts to this video part one we're doing the outline and all of our basic shapes um, part two we're filling in all of our details and getting everything situated a um, lot more uh, refinement going on in the drawing and then part three I'm just finishing up it's it's a real quick one um, not too long like this less than 15 minutes where I show you um, how I've colored half of his entire face and and all of his you know half of his hair and all of that so I get into what colors I've used for every single different part of the drawing so be sure to check that video out um, also I've almost finished my optical illusion drawing and one one of my students said miss Fink that creeps my eyes out so <laughs> I guess that's that could be a good thing or a bad thing but I just want to show you I've got a little bit left to go here a little bit of coloring on this one a little bit of coloring over here a little bit of coloring over there a tiny bit over here in this corner but it's almost done but I wanted to show you guys um, how that's coming along and and show you that you can do stuff like this too you know you can you can do this kind of a, a drawing and make your own coloring page. I just noticed this, so I had to color that in just a little tiny bit there and a little tiny bit there because I noticed it wasn't looking so great. But see, I've left out the color along the middle, or almost like, I would call it like the spine of my shapes. I've left out the color there so it looks shiny so that looks like it's coming way up off the paper in a big U shape, you know, upside down U shape coming off of the paper because it's nice and dark here in the valley part of each of these um, funky weird shapes. Um, but check out that video. Uh, it's, a, it's a two or three part video that I just posted not too long ago. Um, it's Optical Illusion drawing so take a look at that have some fun with it this one's really easy to do even though it looks pretty hard um, this one's a little higher level drawing but keep practicing okay don't forget to practice all right so value um, one of the easiest things you can do if you have a ruler or just something to draw a straight line with one of the easiest things you can do when you're practicing your shading is draw yourself a little kind of a chart so I just drew a line on both sides of my ruler it doesn't have to be straight on the page I know that's kinda of a little bit wonky nobody cares okay nobody even cares it's for your practice nobody else is gonna see it then you can make your ruler go across your little strip right there that you're coloring in make yourself about four or five six boxes okay I'm gonna make myself about five boxes there alright so I got one two three four five boxes in the first box this is how you practice um, shading a drawing and you can use your nice drawing pencils you can use a regular pencil you can use colored pencil you can use crayon you can use um, marker if you want to. Marker is going to be a little bit harder to do this kind of an exercise with but I'll just show you with a regular this is a regular pencil that um, I got at Target or somewhere it's just a, a big old pack of regular cheapy pencils okay so what you do is you are practicing doing and of course make sure as usual you don't have anything on your desk like I always have like a little one little piece of eraser dust is always it's just gonna mess up your whole drawing so anyway back to what I was saying what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice doing like the, the very lightest 
lightest coloring in of that box that you possibly can like I'm not I'm not putting any weight on this pencil at all I'm just letting the pencil glide across the paper see where I'm holding it way way back here okay I'm just barely letting the pencil lead rub against the paper okay I don't I'm not really paying any attention to staying in the lines it's not about that it's about getting that value that very very light value you're trying to get it um, as light as possible okay this is the lightest L I G H T E S T lightest level okay you're trying to just barely barely touch the paper all right you're also trying to get it nice and smooth S M O O T H that spells smooth okay and you're also trying to get it as even as you can in other words not like see I've got this like a little bit of a dark area right there but the rest of this looks pretty much all the same there's like a couple little light spots like right there maybe right there you can zoom in just a tiny bit if it'll do it there we go that's a little bit better okay so I've got this little bit of a darker area right there I don't know if you can really tell um, but you can go back in and you can use a regular pencil eraser if you're using a regular pencil or you can use your art eraser okay I'm gonna try that one more time and try to get that the same kind of shade or value as the rest of my little square box here that I made okay so I've got this super light value the next box you're gonna go just a little little tiny bit darker I'm gonna press down and sometimes it's the pencil because you know this pencil isn't one of the greatest pencils ever it's it's a cheapy supposed to be a number two pencil but that's very subjective different companies make different products you know that from using different brands of crayons different brands of markers if you get markers from the Dollar Tree, uh, yeah, they're they're super cheap, but they might not color very well, and they might not last very long. So, did you get a good deal or not? You might not have gotten such a great deal on that. So, to me, a lot of times the the more expensive art supplies, yes, they're they're worth it to a certain extent just depends on your budget just depends on you know what you're actually doing with it if you're practicing then I don't I don't really like to practice with my expensive art materials I like to save those for when I'm trying to do something really awesome okay okay so you see that I made this a little tiny bit darker right I pressed down just a little bit harder this one guess what I'm gonna press down a little bit more okay I'm trying to keep it within the box trying to that also helps you practice you know staying in the lines you know you don't necessarily have to but it does help and we we can use the practice right let's use the time for practice it's not important but it can be useful to do it like that and say hey I'm gonna not only am I gonna stay in the lines but I'm gonna make it go from lightest to darkest and that's what this one is here this is the darkest one I'm gonna make it go from lightest to darkest I'm gonna try to make it as smooth as possible I'm gonna try to make it as even as possible okay and if you also want to add staying in the lines I'm gonna stay in the lines as much as possible okay but you don't have to like I said 
All right, so I'm pressing down just a tiny, tiny bit more for this particular square. And even if you have to go over it twice, so I went over it that one direction. Now I'm going to go over it in this direction and add just a little more pencil lead each time I go back and forth. You see, this takes this takes some patience. All right, that's another really good quality for an artist to have. I'm working on my patience every day. Be patient, be calm. Okay, light, a little bit darker, a little bit darker. Same thing. Let's kind of go for it here. Let's let's make this puppy even darker I said that in class the other day and one of the kids says where's a puppy I didn't see a puppy no not a not a literal puppy it's a figure of speech make this square make this bad boy make this thing whatever noun you want to use in there let's make this particular space a little bit darker but still try to get it even still try to get it you know keep it nice and smooth and color in where we can and like when you have a light area like this little tiny patch right here you can barely go over it little bit by little bit by little bit see that each time I go over it it's getting a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker, right? Take your time with it. With all of your art, if you feel like, hey, I've, I've got some time to do this. I don't need to rush. Why do I need to rush? Um, if you can take your time with it, take your time with it. Now, if you're creating a piece of art that's supposed to have a lot of energy, a lot of, you know, um, explosive color, super huge, you know, abstract images, big pieces, parts, um, something that's going to, you know, that you want to speak loudly to your audience. Yeah, sometimes there's, you know, there's a need for you to hurry and do things that are, uh, you know, a lot more crazy, hasty, you know, you're not going to be taking your time, you're going to be throwing that paint, they're literally artists who actually throw the paint onto the canvas with their bare hands, they're artists, there's a one um, man, he's an older man, uh, I have to look up his name for you, but he's Chinese, I believe, and he puts on these big, huge He's a boxer. He puts on these big, huge boxing gloves and he dips them down into big buckets of black paint and he just has this big, humongous canvas hanging uh, up in front of him and it's probably, I don't even know, like eight or ten feet tall it looks like and he runs at it and he just punches and punches and smears and smears and he just, he, whatever emotion he's feeling he just uses those boxing gloves and he makes these beautiful paintings like that so look up stuff like that look up um, unique artists look up artists who don't use a paintbrush look up artists who do abstract art abstract that's another vocabulary word for you today that's a really good one abstract that is my own personal favorite style of art, um, but my own personal favorite to actually paint in also, okay? Um, abstract art, and here we go with this next square, as much, as much color as I can put into the square without breaking this pencil. I'm pressing down super hard, color, 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 color lots and lots and lots of pencil lead but still trying to keep it nice and smooth nice and even trying to anyway 
nobody's perfect um, but anyway look up look up artists like that that's my favorite kind of art to paint um, abstract art is is to me it's some people might say well that's just a mess on canvas that's just a big old mess any three-year-old can paint that I'm not impressed um, it's not for everybody uh, broccoli is not for everybody right so everybody has their own tastes everybody has their own preferences but you can still learn to appreciate what maybe what somebody put into it or maybe what somebody was thinking when they did it or maybe how it makes you feel when you look at a piece of art um, really it, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of it what anybody anybody else has said about it what the, even the artists themselves have said about the art you know how does it make you feel how does it make you what does it make you think of you know um, what questions do you have when you're looking at it are you like what is that or why did they paint that or um, I don't understand what the message is here you know is there is there a message at all am I supposed to understand this you know ask all kinds of questions like that when you're looking at art and and try to look at as much as you can online go to museums um, there's an awesome free museum in, in Gainesville just north of Ocala here um, go to places like that and check it all out okay sometimes there's even art shows at the library for free so you don't even have to pay to get into some of those okay all right so see here we've got our super super light a little bit darker a little bit darker a little bit darker and the darkest we could go with uh, see how shiny that got with all that pencil lead on there crazy crazy amount of pencil lead okay um, that's really good practice for you when you're doing something especially to me especially pencil um, and colored pencil colored pencil you can do the same exact thing you can even you know extend your chart down your page make yourself a whole row of these blocks and do the same with your colored pencil you know color in your first block super light second block little tiny bit darker pressing down just a little bit more third block pressing down even just a little tiny bit more fourth block a little bit more saturation of color there a little bit darker value and then the last one try not to break the pencil or the pencil head <laughs> just go kind of dark 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 I'm getting it as super dark as I can see that you can do the same thing with colored pencil alright this is not just one one a one note kind of a, a medium um, this colored pencil can make all kinds of different values for you okay so utilize that make that part of your part of your little art routine if you're you don't know what to draw this is a great warm-up exercise okay when you're getting ready to run the hundred meter dash or do something like that you got to warm up first right so art can be the same way you can warm up with a little exercise like this um, warm up with making these same blocks and doing some practice lines you know do your practice all the different lines we talk about in in art class, cross hatching, you know, curved lines, wiggly lines, dashed lines, different uh, things like that, spiral, spiral lines. Fill those little boxes up with all kinds of stuff. Okay, it's great exercise. It's great practice, and uh, I hope you learn something from this, and we'll make your own value charts, and just have a good time with it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you for practicing. I really appreciate it when you guys come in and show me your artwork and show me that you've done stuff like this at home. It makes me feel really, really awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day.